Hey everybody and welcome back. I just wanted to sneak in here for just a few moments because I'm very excited about getting my act together, getting everything organized and pulling, putting some structure to the work that I'm doing on YouTube. So um, what can I tell you? I'm working on a lot of reports. I'm working on a Venus retrograde report that's basically going to span from early April until the beginning of August. So that video is going to be important to actually go back to and I'll probably recommend that at various points in future readings. Also I will have one on the four days that we're going to be aligned with the galactic center because it's like everything's all happening at once. But it's good to separate them out a bit so that we can you know sort of see where it's targeting in our chart. So uh, I'll be I'll be organizing all of those details. I tell you, it's like, you know, it's really hard to just stay on one track because there's so many different things to look at. It, um, it's, it's great. <laughs> uh, but I'm just trying to pick up, you know, the stuff that's really important or the stuff that gives us a better context as to what these weeks are going to be like because they're going to be pretty intense by the looks of it. Um, and then the other thing as well that I'm going to be doing special, but not really all that special, um, is I, I will always be doing a full moon and a new moon reading because I think it's important that we stay in the rhythm uh, with the moon. It's a good counterbalance to how our thoughts have been accelerated by the amount of media that we consume. So, um, and, you know, speaking of media, that's going to be the topic of a lot, you know, it's going to be one of the issues in all of the reports that have anything to do with Gemini. Venus retrograde is in Gemini. The new moon is in Gemini. There's a lot happening in Gemini. Mercury is Gemini's ruler. And so we're talking about digital technology and communications, broad strokes. It gets more specific in a lot of different areas. You know, and I encourage you to look into them because these are just patterns. Astrology is just patterns and, you know, the recording of certain events at certain times. And we can actually gain, a, you know, a look at the bigger picture of how these energies are constantly running with us. So that's that. And in terms of the regular list of monthly readings, I'll be doing a monthly general, monthly love a monthly career in finance, and then, like I said, the uh, the moon cycles, the new and the full moon. Uh, so far, so good on the dailies, day three. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to keep chugging along with that. Um, in terms of personal readings, I'm trying to set up my week in a way that makes sense. So um, at this point, I'm thinking that I'm going to be setting aside Thursday, Friday, and Saturday for uh, work to do on personal readings. Now, we don't have to go live with one another, although, you know, that is definitely an option. Um, but, you know, you can just send me your name and your zodiac sign, and then what I can do is I can do like a tailor-made recording and put a link that's just for you on YouTube so that you can view it from there. And just, you know, I'm doing it blind. Sometimes the magic is actually even better in that respect. And it's also a way that I can facilitate more people uh, as I've been getting a lot of requests for personal readings lately with everything that's going on. We're all trying to make sense of things. Um, so um, I'm also going live every Tuesday night on Facebook. Uh, until I can get enough subscribers over on YouTube. Hint, hint. <laughs> so uh, if you haven't subscribed, pre please press that little button. I think it might be somewhere over here. So um, much appreciated. Uh, what else can I tell you? Um, I do need to be really clear that I am not an astrologer, but I love astrology, and I think it's an excellent tool to provide context uh, for our experiences, you know, and, and it gets even more interesting when you're looking at how it's affecting each one of the signs, because each house of the zodiac wheel is, is an archetypical situation or portion of the human experience. So, um, so, you know, we can get really, really specific in terms of where we really need to be focusing our attention in terms of our life path. I don't like to get too woo woo in my in the way that I describe things. So, um, you know, there is a relationship between fate and free will, and I think that that's you know again the broad stroke the broad strokes 
of what we've come here to experience. So, um, but I won't go any deeper than that. Um, uh, cause for me, I like to get an idea of what the energetic weather is, you know? Um, because we know on certain days it's like, oh, everybody's a little intense today. Let's, you know, they've got a short temper or wow, we're all having such a good time, you know, like, um, that there are definitely synergies, uh, in the collective as well as, you know, for individuals who are, you know, part of an interrelational group, whether you want to call that soul group or whatever, it really doesn't matter. But, um, these connections, um, you know, even for the atheist out there, you know, it's, uh, you know, sensation and feeling and the animation that is life is still a mystery to many of us. So, um, at any rate, uh, I am very excited to use both tarot and astrology to, um, to bring you a fresh perspective on how you are looking at your life and the situations that you're in. And, you know, maybe from that perspective, you can take different action that's going to take you in a new direction that may be really helpful to you. So um, I'm happy to be here uh, to do that in some small way. Uh, it's an honor to share your stories. Um, and, uh, and I am really grateful for the opportunity to assist you in, in any way, you know, so, uh, I invite you to play with perspective, of course, for entertainment purposes only. <laughs> so if you need anything, just let me know. And in the meantime, please hit subscribe and stay tuned because I got a lot of plans in the future and I'm excited to share them and keep building towards it. So here is your reading for today. Hey there, Leo, and welcome back. Ooh, I guess that is what wanted to come out for you. The Six of Cups, that's a nice place to start. Um, this is uh, nostalgia, reminiscing, um, children, soulmates, uh, close friends from the past, past life connections, etc., etc. Um, but you can see all the yellow in this card, so it's very sunny. Um, and I've been noticing that each one of the signs actually has a very positive sort of outlook for today, and it's reflected in the beautiful sunshine that is uh, coming in my window here, even though they forecasted rain. So, hmm, interesting. Uh, so yeah, so you've got the Six of Cups. So let's see what Lynn Norman has for you today. Um, you're going to want to uh, keep an eye on my channel uh, because today I'll be starting to record. Um, and I say starting because I doubt I'm going to get them all done uh, today. It's probably going to take me today and tomorrow. I'm going very in-depth in terms of what we can expect from this Venus retrograde cycle. They only happen once every year and a half. So, um, and because of, you know, them happening in various signs, the influences are different. This one is something that we definitely want to go in with our eyes open. Ooh, okay, so we have the mice in, uh, in the Lenormand. So, um, there could be something that's eating away at you a little on the inside. Um, it's also, you know, the possibility that you're leaking cash. Uh, and, you know, whether it's, you know, just like you didn't realize that the bank's uh, taken maybe a little bit more um, in terms of service charges, who knows, but it's that kind of, like, little naggy kind of, kind of stuff that could probably use some attention. Um, Marshall, let's see what he has to say with his distant early warning deck. Oh, look at that. Okay. So the Queen of Clubs, so in other words, the Queen of Wands, so fire sign, you maybe. Hell hath no music like a woman playing second fiddle. How true it is, how true it is. <laughs> um, all right, I'll leave 
that for you to interpret on your own, Leo. And uh, have a great day.